Good morning, folks. Uh, Caroline here. <sighs> Happy September. Thank you for clicking and dropping into this space. The meditation will officially get, begin about a minute in. Uh, I'll be guiding you vocally through. The moments of quiet are for you to drop a bit more deeply within and rest in that space. Um, yeah, we're past the new moon. Still feeling a lot of shedding though, which I think can be attributed to this this month of September. It's quite a month of shifting, of release and preparing for shedding. There's a certain rush about it, I think, just in society as a whole and in a lot of our varying cultures. So this meditation, I hope, will guide you through these days and invite you to remain in ritual with self and find space to cultivate all that you would like to sow this month and to um, lighten a bit in, in preparation for autumn. So with all that being said, you can get good and comfortable. We'll begin to drop into our meditative state. Find your seat however you'd like. Begin to observe your breath simply arriving exactly as you are in this present moment no need to change anything just yet virtually a sort of ripple effect when you think about it anyone who drops in will move through a couple rounds of collective breath right here right now find an exhale out of your mouth to release any stale air deep breath in through your nose Breathing into low belly, hips, grounding and watering your roots, and exhaling out of your mouth. Deep breath in. And out. Potent release. Deep breath in. And out. With your breath as your main focus, begin to explore your inner realms of being. Notice the state of your mind, the pacing of your thoughts, the cyclical nature of all that we are and all that is. Your breath is threaded around all that you are and all that is so know that when the mind wanders and moves through cycles your breath can gently tug it back to center to quiet greet yourself this morning in early or mid-september with ease see the beauty the strength in all that you are through every season and cycle of your being. I'll offer some guided words here, some questions, perhaps some visualizations. Carry with you what serves, what comes from me that serves, and leave behind what does not. That feels like a cliche in the spiritual world of language, but I think it's one of the most potent lessons, so I'll say it again and again. In this month of September, In this present moment, when you might feel the need to prepare and tidy, how can you do so slowly? How can you do so in a way that lasts beyond that moment, in a way that rewires neural pathways, that 
expands expands your cyclical ways transcends spirals of self how can you bring ceremony and honor into your daily life your routines september asks us to step into a space that is holy and sacred as some say the veil begins to thin beginning at the close of summer and really that shift in mid to late september that we're wandering towards carry the sacred within all that you do all you consume in every breath every step, every wiggle along the way, weave the sacred, the divine into your days, your nights. With your breath as your guide, you can explore these thoughts. Gently tapping into your present thoughts, wishes, dreams. What can you grasp onto more potently without too much attachment, but just enough so that it might be brought into a grounded state of reality? What are you cultivating in this last month of deep harvest? What are you calling into your space to warm you through cooling days and longer nights? How can you warm yourself in the days and weeks to come? What pieces of summer might you shed? What what pieces might you gather and nestle into your nest, your space, your altar. While we're in a season of shedding, we're asked to take what we feel most called to in this last bit of harvest. And I'll ask you now to breathe into Whatever spaces, colors, feelings, scents you feel called to harvest before a shedding. September is simultaneous in this way. There's a gentle dance between seasons, between the vibrant colors of summer and the earthy hues of autumn. Breathe through this transition, breathe simultaneously within these shifts. In your next couple of breaths, Imagine how you feel come September 23rd. Summer has properly dwindled away. Whether that is in your weather or your your essence, your energetics. You feel the pull of the deep earth. A slumber asking you to connect. To divinity a bit more readily thanks to a thinning of the veil. Your radiance remains though it is more yin than, than the yang, the pitta of summer. Fire is cool. Earth is 
settling into sleep, as are you in some ways. How did you get here? What shifts, stumbles, obstacles did you overcome, move through, move in to arrive where you are now with autumn? in tune with Autumn and her deeply poetic unraveling in tune with the death of the season what brought you here? how do your days move rhythmically with Autumn? What fills your plate, your cup, your space? What did you harvest to carry with you? What did you shed so as to move ahead with only what brings light into these darkened months? Be in your breath, present in every inhale being in every exhale. If you'd like to remain for longer, you can pause the video now for a bit of silence. If you're about ready to part ways with this little internet space of mindfulness or seasonal shifting, we'll begin to close. I just have some parting words for you. As you begin to blink your eyes open and welcome light, color, outer realms back to dance with inner realms, a shared simultaneous experience. Move however you feel called to, journal if you'd like, perhaps writing on how you'll go about these September shifts with honor and ritual in mind. Perhaps writing, painting, singing how you would like to feel come September 23rd, the autumnal equinox. A day of balance. Be present in these days of waning summer, waxing autumn. I'll be sharing more readily in the weeks to come just some practices that I have found help me shift through to autumn after summer. Um, in the realm of seasonal shifts, I'll be hosting a spring equinox retreat in... Um, a farmhouse on the east coast come March with some dear friends assisting me curating this for you if you're at all interested those details can be found online and registration opens um, just before the fall equinox thank you for listening Caroline Caroline here still <laughs> always feel the need to remind you of my name um Thank you so much for listening. I hope your September is blessed, full of abundance and joy in these late summer days. And I hope your autumn and your shifts bring you all that you desire and clarity, clarity in these days of earth going, going to sleep. It can be quite thoughtful as we tend to be if we're a little bit riled up before bed, which is sort of how summer is, <laughs> riled up before bed. Thank you, thank you. Have a blessed day, blessed week. All my love to you. Goodbye.